Dear shareholders, as you know, Pluristem recently reported positive results from its pilot study in non-human primates, NHPs, in the treatment of acute radiation syndrome. Following further analysis of the data, I am pleased to share more information about the study and its results. The objective of this pilot study, conducted and funded by the U.S. National Institute of Health, was to evaluate survival, a methodological and safety parameter in both irradiated and non-irradiated NHPs. The study was done in 48 subjects. Study results showed that all three doses of PLXR18 improved survival rate compared to placebo. The two lower doses of 4 and 10 million cells per kilogram resulted in 85% survival rate compared to 50% of the placebo group. All survival animals fully recovered from ARS. All treated groups also showed better and faster recovery of blood lineages, a major component of recovery after radiation induced damage to bone marrow. We were also very pleased to see that PLX cell did not affect the non-irradiated animals. This demonstrates the safety of the cells and indicates that there is no need to determine the level of radiation exposure prior to treatment. This is highly important when treating a mass casualty disaster. We believe that our cells have the potential to become an alternative to existing treatment of ARS due to their significant advantages. Existing treatments available today have limited efficacy, focusing mainly on regeneration of subpopulation of blood cells. Our studies have shown that PLXR18 cells could potentially trigger regeneration of all blood lineages and lead to higher survival rates. We are very proud of our success in progressing from small to large animal models which is critical for approval via the FDA Animal Rule Regulatory Pathway. Focusing on advancing this important treatment and continuing our discussion with the U.S. government agencies regarding their continued support for the final pivotal study, as well as potential initial stockpiling of PLXR18 cells. Thank you for continued support for Pluristem.